Here we have a really nice maple cabinet. As you can see, it's a curly maple. In fact, a lot of this maple is sort of a cross between bird's eye and curly, so it's a really wild pattern. Uh, almost the entire piece is made out of the figured maple. Interestingly, some of these door styles are not, but I guess they ran out at some point. There's not a whole lot wrong with this cabinet. It's not bad. Uh, it's, it's dirty in places on the side. And also, uh, this is a step back cabinet, so it has this counter here. And this counter is kind of messed up, so we're going to see how well we can carefully clean that down and make it look like the rest of this cabinet. Most of the cabinet needs just a gentle cleaning and a waxing, with the exception of this step back counter, may need a little more cleaning. And along the base and the bottom, over here on the side, it's kind of dirty in their spots. I don't know if they're paint spots or what. I hope they all come off. We'll work at them. I don't know the age of this cabinet. Uh, I think it's older. At first I didn't think it was that old. and Now that I'm examining it, I believe it is. Uh, the, it's, it's hard to tell. The hinges have been replaced. These are conventional leaf hinges now, but originally it had uh, surface hinges. And it could have been iron, old-fashioned iron hinges right here on the surface. Uh, the knobs have been replaced. We don't know what kind of knobs were here. Uh, we may just stick with what's on there now. They may have been replaced at the same time as someone replaced the hinges. The back, you can see that it's all hand planed and still has the scrub plane marks. I found a, a, a loose nail and it certainly appears to be an old cut nail. I just noticed these screw holes here, there must have been some kind of latch here, possibly just a turn, a bar that turned or something that secured those. The inside has been all nicely outfitted with different shelves with a cutout. None of this interior appears to me to be particularly old. I, I can't tell. Maybe it was added later. I, I just uh, I just don't know. It's hard to tell. The interior of the base unit, like this shelf, for instance, doesn't appear to be old. Not like the back. The back, you know, definitely appears to be hand planed and old. Other elements don't. But still, this piece could be as old as uh, 1790 or 1800. But it also could have been built by any individual uh, any time since then. But it's still a very old cabinet. And a beautiful cabinet. First up, I'm going to use a, a very mild solution of a dishwashing liquid that will act as a surfactant to get the see if we can remove some of the grease and oil that's on here and see what happens with these white spots. My goal here is to clean this surface because I'm going to wax it. I want to clean it, but as gently as possible. I want to, luckily this very mild solution seems to be getting rid of these white spots, I think. And just a little bit of the dirt that's on here. It's not bad at all. Those white spots are letting loose. Slowly but surely. I might have to uh, I'm going to use some of the same very mild solution on this counter surface and see how much of this will clean off. I am not applying a lot of pressure though. I'm just going lightly here. See if we can cut through whatever is on here. It's definitely working to improve the surface. And this surface, you know, it doesn't have to look perfect or anything. We just need to make it look a lot better than it did. And a lot of this uh, stuff that, that's on here, this blackness, appears to be very superficial.
I'm very pleased that these rings and a lot of these dark marks appear to be very su superficial and are, are coming out with this uh, gentle cleaning. Somebody had been uh, uh, going over this probably with linseed oil or something and it, and it built up and then attracted all the dirt. Okay, so we've completely cleaned the entire piece. It looks pretty good, but the cleaning also revealed a lot of areas of, uh, of raw wood corners and some uh, mysterious little spots here and there, some nail heads. So the first step before waxing is to touch all these up. Alright, now I've touched up all those uh, corners and spots of raw wood, and now I'm just going to wax it. Let's do the first. Okay, so the, the entire cupboard has now been. Uh, paste wax. So if you remember, we didn't have to do a lot of repairs to this, but it had a lot of uh, just old, you know, gradu and dirt and oil. Especially this side was especially bad with paint specks and the step back countertop here was also bad and everything cleaned up very well and then we pasted, waxed it with paste wax and uh, it really brought it out. It looks great now.